episode of Sandman's Tackle Time. Tonight we're going to talk about these guys, sinker molds. Over the past few uh, episodes of Sandman's Tackle Time you've seen us make fast links, Gemini clips, this, that and the other. And if you've noticed I've been using a sinker to demonstrate how the little gadgets work. Little did I realise that a lot of you out there have liked the sinker, the Sputnik as we've called it. I'll just uh, get all of it there. There it is there if you want to have a close up of it. That's the three and a half ounce version. Just so you know where the, the, the name come from, it from Sputnik. Um, it's just, I think it resembles the Sputnik satellite. So it's stuck. People laughed at it and liked it. And it's, it's, uh, people come and say, oh, Paul, can I have 20 um, Sputniks? I may bother me. So it's stuck. Anyway, so that's the, that's the crap with the Sputnik sinker. The reason why we come, I come around uh, to modifying the mold that I've got is that I run my own comp up on the river where those that know me know about this, it's called the Blenny Hill Open. And I was fishing there um, and I needed something with some decent grip. I've got pyramid molds, and there's one there. All made, crap and piece of kid. I think that one's a three ounce um, pyramid mold. Kenny McCoy, John Lovett, um, Lee Burton, they're all good fans of the pyramid mold. They like them. They are good, but I wanted something different and a little bit better in my opinion. Um, so I sent the waiter, um, I think it was Andy Rutherford's, I got it if I'm telling the truth. I went to Andy Rutherford's and I bought the mold. There it is there. It's nothing special. And while you have the close up, and if I've got this right, it does 2 ounce, 2.5. 3 and 4 ounce. However, that's what the advertised as. When I weighed this one, that was 3.5 ounce. But that was ideal for me. That, that was even better for me. That's great. So 3.5 ounce gripping on the weigher was, was uh, the thing for me. So a friend of mine, Lee Burton, was getting a couple of these off me and he, he gave them a try. And um, in Lee's opinion, and mine as well, Lee actually said to me that he thinks they gripped better than a certain way. I think it was a four ounce Yuki Hooks um, sinker. That's the two ounce one there. DCA shape. Absolutely fantastic. These are the best modes you'll ever buy if you ever go and out and purchase these. Yes, they're expensive. The CNC machined. You can buy them from UK Hooks only, but you get what you pay for. The, 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 for me, I've had a few molds over the years and them are top notch, simple as that. Anyway, get back onto this. So I wanted to modify it um, so it took grip wires. So I went to a friend of mine, Ian Lawson, a lot of your casting lads out there will know him as Lasher Lawson. Good mate, good lad. Uh, went through, he's got one of them pillar drills. And all we did, was, it's no rocket science at all. Got the mold taped it together, we set the mould on a 45 degree angle, so you would be sitting like that, and you would just pull the drill down, and the drill went straight through with a tungsten carbide drill bit, flipped the mould around as you've just seen us do, and repeated the process at the other side, and that was it, the, the, the mould was drilled, it was as simple as that, absolutely spot on. I didn't realise the other fault that we were going to have until I'd actually poured a sinker, and that was the fins. Now if you can come in and look at this UK Hooks mould, you can see yourself that it's got fins for where your wires would sit. Now I can't really do anything with the mould in regards to that, as you can see there's the holes there. Ideally it should have had a fin coming up there and a fin coming up there, but I couldn't do that with them. So, that was the answer, flathead screwdriver. All what I've done with this, if you want to come and have a look, I'll just move this over there. As you can see, it clips out in there. And all I've done there is I've just got a screwdriver like that. And it's lead, and I just went a couple of times. That's all I've done. Your wires then just click in. And that was it. It is a little bit of a nuisance when you've got to sit there, and if you've done a hundred of them, and you just nobbling away like that, it, it is a nuisance but it's worth it, for me it's worth it, I love them, they're absolutely fantastic. Anyway, 
in case you can't get to Rutherford, you live far away, um, I've got a website here, I'm going to show you where you can purchase this mould. Um, for those that live local to me, um, Andy Rutherford, I'm sure stocks these, I'm sure. I could be wrong, so don't quote us on it, but um, I'm sure we did, because I'm more than certain that's where I bought this one from. Anyway, for those that don't live up here in the sunny northeast, this is an Abia address, Abia Paul's Anglin Supplies, it's nothing to do with me, and there is the Abia item number. So I'll keep that there, I hope you can see that okay. That's great. And the mould will do two, two and a half ounce, three and four. And I think it's retailing for around about 18 pound. So again, 45 degree angle, that side, flip it over, 45 degree angle, that side. And that, that was that done. Going on to the diameter of the hole that we drilled, um, I was going to keep it down to the, the standard stainless steel that you can just